Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Doing some live thrifting over here. You're wearing your Phillies hat today? No, uh, no socks hat? Okay. What's up, everybody? What's up, Trigger? Sorry, guys, I was talking to some people that I see often. She was wondering what I do. I told her. I used to be embarrassed to tell people, but not anymore. It's what I do. Hey, thanks, Kat. Thrift like a thrift in the wind. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. Reed, first in quality. This is a nice bomber jacket, actually. Um, Talon, ta or Talon uh, which is a little bit more vintage. But that's actually a really nice bomber jacket for $7.99. What do you guys think? I've never heard of this brand. Anyone want to look this up? Uh, hey, picked up anything so far? I just walked in. No, it's 9 o'clock. Just walked in. So just walked in, looking at some clothes. How about this How about this leather bomber jacket by Reed? I've never heard of Reed. R-E-E-D. Am I even sp saying it right? Because I know Reed is R-E-A-D. I don't know. I was only a teacher for so long. But I was a gym teacher. It's way different. Way different. Get it for sure. <clears throat> I mean, it's in super good condition. And check this out. It is, well, it's made in China, but let's see if it's 100% leather. It definitely feels like leather, so I'm positive it's leather. Dry clean only. Um, inspected by Genuine Leather Lining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check zipper. Okay. Hold on. We're going to have to check the zipper upside down. So we're going to check it together. Upside down. Zipper works. So for $5.99... I mean, that thing's pretty cool, right? Five ninety nine, seventy dollars at least, yeah. I'd even, I'd even, my vintage dude would probably be into that if not. But yeah, bomber jackets always sell. You know it's a bomber jacket. It has that lapel. A lot of times they have the Sherpa, but it has these pockets right here and this. You guys watch Top Gun. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't need to explain it. So, 111 listings, 45 sold. I keep seeing vintage. Yeah, good morning, co-workers. I love Donna. Yeah, good morning, co-workers. That's exactly right. So I'm just here at work early, feeding you guys, getting the breakfast ready for everyone, or I'm just feeding you your, your breakfast to get you pumped up to go. There's that from yesterday. Like I said, I'm going to a different thrift store now in the mornings. Um, the one's way overpriced. I'm not giving them my time of day. So, um, teach the snaps on the sleeve. Check the snaps on the sleeve. Read. Um, comps all over the place. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm gonna get it. It's five ninety nine. Usually they're nine ninety nine. Again, I'm looking for um, red tags. As you can see, it has a red tag. It's new this week. It's a marble week. Marble. Quick question: When creating an eBay account, am I doing a business one? That is a really good question. Maybe someone in the chat can answer that. It's been so long since I created an eBay account. I don't know. I would probably say yes if you're doing it to resell stuff. I mean, see, I would get this. Um, I get these for, I used to get these for five bucks. And at some of the stores, they still price them at that, the, especially the Threadborn. I sell these for 20. Kind of a surf's up. This is cool. Lifetime wear. Made in the USA. BMO Car Club. Um, Oktoberfest. Nah. 2013. So, good morning. Good morning, Angie. All right. Um, thanks for sharing guys. Thanks for liking. This is your morning breakfast. Like I said, usually I, uh, feed you lunch too. So you can come back for lunch later on and we'll get together. What's up, Barry Treasures? My favorite. How late were you up last night? I know you guys, you guys are late people doing your funny chats. I definitely watched the Miss Me shorts in the battle. Obviously you battled and I gave you two giraffes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Won that for you. Single-handedly. But here we go. All right. Um, I was Googling some stuff yesterday, and it mentioned that type of account. Yeah. I mean, if you're starting it up for business, I would probably say business. I mean, you're probably going to get 1099 either way. So be prepared. I would talk to a CPA. No more TurboTax. Talk to an actual CPA um, that, who knows their stuff. So that's what you need to do. 
that battle was amazing. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a funny battle. If you guys weren't know, um, buried treasures right here. Give him a follow. He does this for a living, and well, actually, he doesn't do it for a living. He's actually a military. I appreciate all his service. Uh, he does it as a side hustle, but really, he's an international. Um, TikTok sensation. If you guys didn't know that, you'll see he has over 100,000 followers. So you'd be pretty fortunate if he actually lets you follow him. All right, let's see. Again, looking for red tags only. Peter Millar long sleeve, 399, goodbye. Uh, for 399, maybe. I don't pick up the cotton ones anymore. I just, those are the, like, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be, anyone know this brand? Let's see if we're all right. Anyone know this brand right here? Just looking at this tag. So that coffee was lame. What coffee? Um, yeah, I don't pick up the long sleeve Peter Millar uh, that are cotton anymore. Anyone know this brand? Anyone know that brand? There's another one. This should be a clue. There it is. There it is. Brooks Brothers. So no, not Canali. Whenever you see that tag with the gold writing, you can always just count. After doing it a while, you'll know. So when you go through these, you'll see, um, obviously, Jose Banks. But sometimes they'll have that gold writing at the top. You'll know it's Brooks Brothers. So this is a Brooks Brothers blazer. Oh, thanks for the ducky. Um, the problem is, guys, this blazer I'm going to get. Let's look at the size. So size is going to be important. So the size is always right here. 50 long. That's a really good size. This is a good seller. And the good thing about this is it is the Madison fit, but look at this. It's got a special blend. Don't always look for Laurel Piani. These blends sell well. You can look at my eBay store. I sold one with this exact uh, company right here. Actually, it's not for Brooks Brothers, but it sold for over 100 bucks. So this is a long coat, two buttons, and it's going to have a double vent in the back, which is good, which tells you it's a little bit newer. Oh, this one has a single vent. That's okay. Um, this one I don't know about because it has – pinstripes it has a it has a really good um fabric rolling into it and it is going to be big i don't know what do you guys think it has pinstripes um those tags remind me of marble yeah everyone's this is a marble week this is marble week so these are only 7.99 it's a 50 long Ugh. see these pinstripes but who's going to wear these pinstripes these are for a suit so Maybe we'll find the pants over there. That is the question. That is the question. Yep, need matching trousers. Exactly. So I always tell people, they come in here, I'm like, always look on, actually, I want to go look at the hard goods. Look at me being ADHD. But yeah, go look at the, um, you want to look for the pants. A lot of times you'll find the mat matching pants. If I find the matching pants buried, you owe me a giraffe. So good morning, TJ. No pen, yep, no pen, don't, exactly. But if they do have, oh, they just rolled out all these shoes. Well, maybe they did or maybe they didn't. But let's see if there's anything on here that's worth it. So no, these look like they were rolled out yesterday. These skeins are in awful condition. Um, this looks like they were rolled out yesterday. By the way, I also looked up vintage Skechers, vintage Skechers with the big, look those up, they're like a hundred bucks. The big heel. Do you remember that video where I picked up a chest like this? That was exactly this location, by the way. Sorry if I'm not answering your questions. I'm just trying to look over this real quick. Man, look at all these cards. They must have rolled these all out last night. And people got them to them, picked them over. So, picked over. My son loves these. Um, all right, yeah. There's going to be a no go on that. Well, how about it? Bummer. Um, <clears throat> how and why did you get started? I got started. Um, well, I used to sell antique collectibles. And then when that dried up, I, I, I couldn't live my life without having that extra income. So I decided just to find something that did it. So I started going to Goodwills and I started doing clothing and it worked out. So that's why I started clothing. That was 2015 and I started clothing. Here's some Carhartt pants, um, jeans for $7.99. These are like pressed. Look at these. Look at these. Do I buy Brooks Brothers shirts? Only if they have the, the fleece on them. Missed yesterday's lives. What color is this week? Marlboro. Marlboro. Yep, Marlboro week. 
So I don't know about these. If someone wants to look these, oh, these are those um, union made. So they make these and hand them out to people. So what you do is you look up this number right here, 382-83. Who wants to look these up? All right, love the blondes. Tell me, buy it. I want to know because sometimes they don't. These union ones don't go for that. So look up 382-83 for eight bucks. Oh, shoot. Let's see. Exactly for rental. Designed for rental. They're real. Oh, I know they're real. But the models sometimes aren't as much as you think. They make certain models that are really good, certain that aren't. So, wanting what I got so far. This. All right. So, what do you think? Get those? Okay. I'll pick them up. All right, next, let's keep going. There's more. So these have more wear right here. So I don't know about that. These obviously all came from the same person. They're all pressed, pressed jeans. There's a pair of non, should I just pick up all the Carhartt? What do you guys think? With a lot, sold comps are 15 to 20 with a lot listed. 17 to 20. Do I resell boots? Uh, yeah, or books? No. Um, I, I, someone asked me that last night. Um, man, I don't know about these Carhartts, guys. They're $7.99. I don't know. Um, I, I've resold books when I did antiques, not from thrift stores. The thrift stores, now I talk to the people in the back, and they scan their books just like, um, I used to watch Rick and Profit. He used to come in and scan books in my end. They do that now here. Pass on Carhartt. Yeah, I just feel like these are not a good, not a good, uh, Carhartt type. And they're those union ones that just don't sell for as much. A lot of cowboys here uh, press their jeans. There you go. Yep. Um, I just uh, know my, I just don't, can't do it. Can't do it. All right, let's find those trousers. So we're looking for the Marlboros, right? We're looking for Marlboro tags. They're going to have these Nike. Look at these Nikes. I bet these would be 10 bucks. Look at that. They're crazy. Let's, you know, look, it's already stretched out in there. Oh, God. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, um, not in summertime, not in summertime. All right, let's see what these are. These look, uh, nope, lands in, better put them back on the little thingy. And these look kind of interesting. What are these? Nothing. All right, if those trousers would be here. They would be somewhere down here because they were big. Those are some big boys. Do not see them, but these look big. Look, what size are these? 42, not good enough. If these, if you guys find Polo Ralph Lauren pants that are in the 50s, size 50, pick them up. Even the shorts, pick them up. Um, get some really nice Carhartt bibs yesterday for 650. Nice. Hey, thanks for soccer balls. Um, I'm actually, hey, thanks, Kayway. Um, I'm actually, um, sorry, Kayway, that I gave um, buried treasures to giraffes last night during our uh, battle, but. I just, I had to see someone else win. You win every day all the time, even when you don't battle people. So I had to watch someone else win something. Uh, let's see. Um, my first sales yesterday. Nice, Diane. Get those sales. Good job, girl. Now go list some more stuff today. Good morning, Arizona Pickens, my buddy. Um, let's keep looking. So <clears throat> if you're just now joining... We found this, so we found a couple things, right? So we found this um, old bomber jacket. It's only $5.99. Thanks for soccer balls. Reed, um, it's a vintage, and it's in really good condition. Why not for $5.99 leather? Hey, thanks, Cut Knot. And then um, we found this Brooks Brothers for $7.99. It's got a good blend to it. A lot of these have not only Laura Piana, but other fabrics in it like this. Um, and the size is a 50L. 50 large, and that's an American size. That's not 40 large, that's 50 large. So Brooks Brothers put their <coughs> put their uh, sizing as American sizing. So you'll see right here, it's a, it's a 60, 60 in Europe. So here in the US, it's a 50 L. The problem is, <coughs> if you're just now joining, there was another one. Oh, they just brought out another cart. There's another one, 
but it's got stripes. And it's got a good blend, but it's got stripes. And I don't pick up ones with stripes unless they have matching, uh, a matching bottom. All right. I'm also on live right now, so just letting you know. I go live, thrifting. No, I'm not. Oh, look, how about this? We were just talking about it. Hey, girlfriend, how's it going? <laughs> how about that? If these say Brooks Brothers, someone owes me a giraffe. They look just like it. Do those not look just like it? Let's just hold on and wait and see. We'll look through this a little bit. Look at that. Looking vintage, but it's not. So let's hold on to this. All right, Wrangler, nope, 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 nope. What are these? Nope, um, definitely a match. I think so, I think so. Here's Vineyard Vines, Secret. I uh, will buy these sometimes and just wear them myself like as Jamie's because they're super, Vineyard Vines are super soft. So, uh-oh, what is this? What is this? Don't know that. But it feels like it has a whole bunch of business cards or something. Oh, no, it's just that. Look at that fake. It's so cheesy. All right, let's keep looking. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, underwear, the huge, the huge. Um, good morning. Good luck today on your friends. Tap the screen. Show some support. Hey, thanks, MJ. Appreciate it. Always. She's my pump girl. My pump, my pump, my pump. Feeling a little under the weather today. See you on your live tomorrow. Hey, no problem. Appreciate it. Um, tomorrow, my, my daughter is going to be at daycare, so I will go live again. I don't know about Thursday and Friday. Um, those are going to be work days. All right, let's go over and see. If these are a match. We just created them. Very And look, let's talk about suits, guys. If you're new in here and you're looking at reselling, let's talk about suits. So that looks like a match to me. Huh? All right. So when it comes to suits, you want to look not only for holes, but if they're really shiny. A lot of you already know this, so I'm just talking to a wall. But you want to look at the really shiny. That means they're wore out. I don't like picking up really shiny ones. These are not. These are in really good condition, and they look really big. Let's see. We're going to look right here on the inside tag, and it should say Brooks Brothers. Does it? Oh, 50 long. How about that for the win? I mean, it can't get any, I mean, I couldn't set that up any more better, right? Like, did we not set that up? 50L. So this this suit, instead of me getting this for $7.99, now we're getting this. Well, they'll price that $10. Bucks, so I'll have them price them as a suit. So I'll have that priced as a suit, and that's a 50L. Huge size. It's good. It'll sell well. I don't know for how much. A score right there. Yep, agreed. I actually sold a suit last night for $190. Bucks. So that was a good sale, but there you go. Full suit. And look, the length is really good. This has had this has everything going for it, guys. It's it's got a really good length. It's a good big size. It's a two button. Other than I don't like pinstripes as much, but um, it's got a good blend. So you put that Rita in there, or Rita, whatever it is. It's like a Laurel Piana and um, Madison Brooks Brothers. So there we go. Full suit. So we got three larger items right here. And that's what we're going with. Now let's look at the shorts. Um, what's with the big sizes? Why do they sell better? Be uh, does it have pleats? That would be also the question. Someone said the other day, pleats are coming back. I actually think they're flat front. That would be even better. So that would be even better. Now they're connected. Sorry, I have them all intertwined. So they are not pleated. So there you go, flat front. I'll show you. So when you're looking for suits, I prefer flat front. Um, and these are flat front. So lots of things going for them. Should we do a crotch check? Crotch check. Crotch check, one, two, one, two. They're good. All right, so there's our suit right there. Um, hi there. Trying to learn as much as I can from you. Good. Um, I put out a YouTube video, first of its kind last night. If you guys want to watch it, I don't know if you watched it, but um, it's going to be part of a series of kind of like what to look for for newbies, maybe. A lot of you guys already know. I already know. But I want to answer the question. Um, bigger sizes, yes. So here you go, scarcity. Um, if you go into a store and you're looking for, let's say, like this 50 large, that's probably like a 4 extra large or like a 4XL. Um, if you go into a store, they're not going to carry 4XL. So what you have to do is order it special and it costs more money. 
So that's why. Uh, they cost more money from the get-go and they're hard to find. You just don't find bigger sizes as much. For men especially. Women, you know, they have plus size stores. For men, they have that DXL, I think now, and that store is very expensive if you've ever been in there. So let's see. What's up, cat? Uh, is the jacket double vented or single? The jacket's single vented. So they're talking about, if you're wondering and you're new, I'm gonna probably do a video on blazers too now. Um, but <clears throat> this is a single vent. So if I had two, it would be right here and right here, right here and right here. This is a single. So single's fine. If it doesn't have any vent at all, it's old. But I knew it would have a vent because that's a newer Brooks Brothers tag or new-ish. The old Brooks Brothers tags don't have a vent. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, I wouldn't have picked that up if we didn't find the pants. And how about them coming out on a cart that just rolled out? What if I left here two minutes earlier? It happens. So, yeah. Brands have big and tall stores also. Um, yeah, they do. Look for the shirt that goes with it. Um, no. It's... They don't, I don't think I sell any shirts that went with it. I'm not worried. I'm not selling the outfit. I'm just selling the suit. So people will have the shirts. But if I do find, I'll look for red again. Remember, it was red tag. So that's, I have my method. Um, but people will buy those shirts. If I do find shirts that are really, really big, um, I will pick it up. Like this is a perfect Surf's Up Fine shirt right here. Slim fit, knit, 2XL. But it's $7.99, and that's too much for me. Um, $4.99 is what I'll pay for these, and that just that cuts into my $10 profit, and I will not do it. I have a hard limit on that. Um, you got my husband addicted to grabbing good polos. Good, good. Just don't do it in Indianapolis because I need them. Does Lulu sell, or does Goodwill sell Lulu shorts? I find them often, but I don't know about everyone else. Find them. Let's see, there's pink. This used to be a really good brand, but not so much anymore. All right, did we even go through this section? We haven't yet, have we? We started and then we left because of the cart. Because remember we started here and we stopped? So here's a new with tags, Banana Republic. New with tags, $75. And they're asking 14, I would pass on it for seven. Um, what time do stores open? Nine o'clock here. So I'm feeding you guys breakfast right now. We just opened, just opened. OU, that is Oklahoma University. He's grabbing Nike gold polos, he says. <laughs> good, for, good for him. Um, $14.99, I know. What state? I'm in Indiana. I'm in Indiana, so it's Eastern Standard Time here right now. So right now, I don't have a watch on me because I broke my Apple Watch. I dropped it on the bathroom floor. Shout out Shaggy. And it broke. So that's no good for me. Has that been your lines we just saw? So there to put that up. I want to see what we have here. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe. I think we've been on this one, maybe. We're looking for the marble tags. Yeah, I think we have. I right, seven, uh, ten to seven. That's our, um, that's our Salvation Armies. They open at ten here. Um, actually, a lot of them, but Goodwill likes to get their donations, right? They like to stay up all night, get their donations, so they can put all their stuff online. Until Surf comes in and finds a few things they don't know about. And I come and get them late at night or during the day. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. You found a Vintage Dale Earnhardt Shark Tooth Hat this weekend. Nice. Nice. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm sorry this is a short one, but this store is really small. See how small it is? It's not very big. We went through the men's, we went through the suits, went through everything. Um, like I said, I put a new video on YouTube. If you are interested in doing this full time it's just simply golf polos if you're interested in it and i will show you um i show you that and then today around lunchtime i'll be live for you guys so do you think saturday and sundays are good at goodwill yeah so our goodwills they push stuff out every day actually let's go down this aisle real quick let's go down this aisle how about one more aisle um i saw some red tags it's a women's section but sometimes i find men's in the women's you do. Well, everything's probably going to be unisex here soon. And it's going to really jumble me at the Goodwill. But um, what is my YouTube name? Uh, you can find it at Surf's Up Finds. So in my link tree, 
you, you just follow me or click on my um, search up finds and there'll be a little link tree. It'll say link tree and there'll be watermarks for my Instagram and everything. Obviously, it's all free. It doesn't cost me money or anything like that. So watch it all. It's all free knowledge. You get it all for free. That's exactly how I learned how to do this. And I did it for forever part time and then I did it enough to where I could go full time. So now I do this full time. And I, my own boss, my own boss. But I also, I also have to be very um, diligent on, on listing and doing everything or else if you get bad habits, you can fall off really quick, fall off the wagon really quick. Uh, what times do you go to Goodwill a week? Or how many times? I go to probably, during the school year when the kids are in school, I go, so probably 10 a day, Monday through Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday. Um, right now in the summer, not as many. I probably go, let's say average five a day, average throughout the day. Tuesday and Wednesdays I go a lot. The rest of the days I just go a little bit. So uh, I had five sales yesterday. Most I've ever done in one day. Look at this. Boom. See? Most I've ever done. Do people talk about summer slowdown even though it's not specifically summer yet or officially summer yet but uh i'm telling you you list the right stuff it's gonna sell so i like i said people always talk about it when when they say summer slowdown i just it's called surf speed up i just speed up more i just sell more um as far as listing i just list more list more and more um all right yep see everyone loves you we're a community in here everyone's a community all right so now for real I'm gonna go to some other Goodwills. They don't have good service. So I'll be, be back around lunchtime. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, and I'm gonna talk to him about the suit. So I'll see you guys later. So they'll, what they'll do is this suit that's $4.99 for the pants and $7.99 for the uh, shirt or for the jacket, they'll price it at $10.99 for the suit. So I'm just gonna give it to him and he'll say, okay, I'll reprice that for you for 10, for 10 bucks. Does Crown and Ivy sell? No, it does not sell for me. Um, the more you list, the more you sell. That's right, exactly. The more you list, the more you sell. I need to do more of that. But um, appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.